Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and commenting on our stuff again. <laughs> we really do appreciate. Hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Um, just suggest anything down below. Give me the name or the link. Post it down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, become friends with us. Say hi and we'll say hi back. Our second YouTube channel is Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Didat. Was the Gospel of Luke inspired by the Holy Spirit? So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let us hear this Christian young man, Hans Kuhn. Hans Kuhn. He's written a book called Infallible? Question mark. Author of Being Christian. He says, who is this man, Hans Kuhn? I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it correctly. Please forgive me. You know, the Scandinavian language is a bit difficult on my tongue. <laughs> the 43-year-old Swiss-born Swiss-born professor of dogmatic and ecumenical theology and director of the Institute of Ecumenical Studies at Tübingen University in West Germany was one of the select group of official theologians appointed during the Vatican II Council by Pope John himself. Known as the young protege of modern theology and consequently may not be interpreted. Uh, he says, now, no way do the books, he says, Nowhere do the books of the New Testament claim to have fallen directly from heaven. Nowhere. This is what our friend Hans Kung says. On the contrary, often enough, they quite candidly emphasize, quite candidly, honestly, they emphasize the human origin. Luke chapter 1, verses 1 and 2 is specially revealing on the origin of the Gospels especially revealing what does it say Luke chapter 1 verses 1 and 2 Luke tells us he doesn't talk about him being tickled by the Holy Ghost or by the Holy Spirit to write his works he says here verse 2 just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us it seemed good to me also if every Tom, Dick, and Harry, people less educated myself than myself, if they can write volumes, me, a physician, one of the most learned of the followers of Christianity at the time, why can't I do a better job? This is his inspiration. The others. You can do it. You can do it. Why can't I? I'm more learned than you. So he says, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus. The only thing he claims is that the other writings are not orderly, mine will be an orderly account. Mark is jumping here, there and everywhere. Mine won't be like that. Mine will be an orderly book. That is, he does not claim to be inspired by God or by the Holy Ghost or by the Holy Spirit. His inspiration is the people that went before him who had done the job. And in this book of Luke, chapter 3, verse 23, we have the genealogy of Jesus. It reads, And Jesus happened to be about 30 years of age when he began to preach who being in brackets, in brackets, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, in brackets. <sighs> now what's all this? Number one, if the Spirit of God is inspiring Luke to write that, the Spirit of God didn't know how old Jesus was. Can you imagine this Spirit of God supposed to be God? The Christian believes, the Pentecostals believe that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But there are not three gods, but one God. 
the Holy Ghost is God, the Spirit of God is God, but this God, if he inspired Luke, this God didn't know how old Jesus was. So he's saying about 30 years. God doesn't know how old Jesus was when he began. He said, about 30? About? He's not sure. When he began to preach, now in the latest translation, the word when he began to preach is taken out. You know why? The question arises, God Almighty waited for billions of years before coming down to earth. And from the age, from day one to the age of 30, he didn't deliver one sentence for the benefit of mankind. What was he doing? For 30 years, what did he do? One sentence to help mankind. He did nothing. Not one word. Not one sentence. So, when he began to preach, for 30 years he did nothing. So they took the word when he began to preach is out. Or the modern translation of the King James Version, the word is taken out. And as was supposed, are in brackets. Meaning Luke, Luke didn't write those words. Ask any Christian scholar, any Christian scholar worth the name. These words in brackets, what do they mean? What do they imply? And they will honestly con confess that it means that in the original manuscripts, these words were not there, as was supposed was not there. These are the words of the editors, trying to help the reader. They have a right. They have a right. In the Quranic translation, we find the same. The translator, he puts words in brackets, meaning he's trying to convey to us that, look, the words are not there, but this is what is implied. He's trying to help you. This help is appreciated. In the Bible, also appreciated. But now, you see, they can mint the word of man is the word of man now. If Luke was inspired, then those words in brackets are not inspired. But what they have done now, in the Swedish Bible and the Danish Bible, I checked them up. The words are there, as was supposed, are still there. But the brackets are thrown out. You know now what it means? Once the brackets are thrown out, it becomes the words of Luke. And if Luke was inspired, they become the word of God. So the Christians are minting God's word at their own leisure. Anytime but they want to, they can put words in, put it in brackets, honest, very honest. And then take the brackets out in every translation other than in English, in the vernacular, in Zulu, Afrikaans, in Urdu, in Swedish, in Norwegian, in every language of the world other than English. The words are retained and the brackets thrown out. Maybe the Scandinavians don't know what brackets mean. <laughs> and it's very true that we do not believe in a verbal dictation. We believe in a complete total inspiration وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلُ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا It's an interesting point of view and um, the good thing about something is the good thing about getting or watching something is the fact that you get to decide you look at the conversation from two sides so if this was inspired then this 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 that but if this wasn't inspired then this 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 and that you know you get to ask yourself questions it's challenging you it's challenging you to, to it's challenging you to think for yourself so that you figure out if you're going to say is this the word of god is this not was this inspired was it not um to take something that's um trying to explain to you as the word of god then i don't know if we put something in brackets i know sometimes we try to explain what we mean in things in brackets 
and that doesn't take away from the actual work that we're doing it's um i don't know it's really a tough one at the end of the day how can someone respond to what amy did that is saying you know of course this was written like this is it the word this was written like this with this in brackets trying to explain what was inspired to be written so how should we take this message you know should we say it's from god should we say it's not should we say it's funny's words should we say what exactly can we say how exactly can a christian um defend what i mean that was saying that's something i would love for someone out there who understands the text he was talking about specifically the text he was talking about to um to the rest of the people you know that are watching that are listening that want to learn or understand why the brackets why brackets are being taken out of context you know let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course don't forget to subscribe please motivate me by giving me stuff reactor just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out and i'll see you in my next reaction video